today we're actually going to replace an existing door with an ETO door uh, pre-hung. And the first step we're going to do is take the frame off here, the moldings. You can see we've already taken this piece off and this side piece. So before you order the door, you want to make sure you check for height and width. Now on this, you go from the bottom and go up to here. And you want to probably go from the carpet. So we have about 79 and a half. Um, most doors are going to come 80, so we're going to have to cut off the bottom piece of the door. And then as far as width, from the outside, pretty young part, you can actually open the door. We have about 36. Uh, so we're going to go with the 36 door, even though we have more area here, ETO door only sells at 36, and then it jumps up to like 42 or something like that. But we don't have the full 42 here. So now we know what size door we have. We're going to go to the door itself, from ETO door, show you how to cut that, and then uh, show you how to install it, stain it, and uh, do the rest. Okay, we have the door that came in from ETO doors. It's uh, 80 long by 36 wide. It's pretty hung. Uh, so first step we're going to do is we're going to mark out where we want to cut. And we're basically going to cut off the bottom. Um, so we're going to, we measured before it was 79 and a half tall that I had. So go from the very top, measure 79 and a half tall here. We're going to do another measurement in the middle here, 79 and a half, and then one to end. And we have those three measurements. <coughs> Basically, I've already marked that out. The next part is I'm going to take this frame off, and I'm going to do my cuts. Um, then we're going to stain. Then we're going to put it back together, and we'll put it back in the door, and we'll show you how to mount it and everything like that. All right? much just enough to take that sharp edge away so when we're carrying the door um, it's not going to cut our fingers up. These ETO doors usually come pre-sanded on the top so you generally don't have to sand the top at all. But if you see any marks you can. Just go around the whole door and you can sand it. See the corner is very, very sharp. Of course, we're very sharp. And over here, very, very smooth. Ooh. Okay, what we're going to do now is I'm going to cut this uh, piece off the frame itself. Um, we've already cut the door, so we're going to cut the frame next on each side. Easiest to do this if somebody's holding the frame, you can just cut right on, on the floor, like here. Okay, so I've already cut off this piece here. You see. This is the piece that fell off, this piece cut off, this piece is cut off, and 
the door is right now cut off and sanded. So the next step is going to be stain and poly. Um, I've already measured, so I'm 100% sure this door will fit. Um, after I stain and poly, I'm going to take the old door out, put the new door in, and uh, mount it. Action. Okay, here we're going to cut in the hinges into the doors, ETO doors, using this Ryobi router here. And we have this little kit that does the four inch hinges. So we go, we've already measured it and done a test piece. So now we're gonna go for the real thing. Here we're going to match up the hinge, make sure it's perfectly level, which it is, and great, wonderful. Okay, now to get the hinges, we have took the old door out, you can see we've measured the hinges, so I'm marking now because I old hinges were three and a half, the new hinges are f four inches, so what we're doing is marking, let's see here, marking where the new hinges need to go. Yeah, now we're going to router the door frame itself. The new hinges are four inches, a little bit larger. So again, we've got the kit, and we're going to set up the router here. Okay, now we've gotten the door attached. How we did that was we get the top plate on first. Um, we we're replacing an existing door. Got the top plate on first, and the bottom plate and the middle plate was off just a tad. So what we had to do was actually make the hole just slightly larger. You see, and what we did was attach it to the door first, both the hinges, and put the um, nail it in the top and then added them and then basically we had a little bit of play and then we screwed these right in um, after we had the door kind of on the, the top hinge and did the same thing with the bottom. See the middle had was a little bit too tall and the bottom was a little bit too low so we had to adjust each uh, either higher or lower so um, again we just attached this piece and had this in and this to the door on on the two middle pieces and had the the top piece was was fine and of course when you close the door you want to make sure that everything is just fitting fine nice and tight but uh, not too tight we're probably going to do take a little bit off the bottom right take the door off the stain notice it's a little tight 
on this side, a little bit loose on this side, and that's just the floor uh, slightly angled. So what we're going to do is just sand a little bit of this piece off that'll, so you won't hear that noise when you're closing the door and it won't mess up the rug. And what we're going to do next is we're going to put in the strike plate right here. Um, this needs to be routered in. We already have an old one here. We're going to replace this striker with a new, a new one also.